Hey everybody, this is Leon the Star, and I have great news. Milky Tracker version 1.04 has been released, so that is really great. And I'm gonna show you the features um, and bug fixes. So here on the website we have um, a change log with all the new bugs and features. <laughs> new box <laughs> okay and we have uh, the downloads let's go to the downloads um, well, I'm gonna go for this app image because I'm on Linux and because it's an app image I need to make it executable and because I'm on NixOS I do this Okay, so first thing to notice is it's very tiny. This is because I'm on a high resolution monitor, so I'm going to scale it two times and I'm gonna load up my colors here. And I'm gonna set the keyboard to Milky Tracker because I'm on a laptop. And let's now run it again. Boom, now it's scaled up twice. Okay, so let's start. Um, I will not go over all the features, but just to give you a small um, preview. So let's load up a module from Modland, uh, Fast Tracker 2. Yeah. random module so first thing to notice is the uh, improved navigation milky tracker keyboard so i really love this um, there's a control space and if you press it then you will basically rotate it through the uh, sample editor the instrument editor and the pattern so this is very very easy to just uh, flip back and forth uh, another thing to notice is that if you press um, Ctrl up down, you're basically uh, scrolling through the samples, as you can see here. So this is a very uh, nice thing to remember, Ctrl up and down. If you add Shift to that, you are basically scrolling through the sample slots. So without Shift, it's instruments, and with Shift, it's the sample slots. Then we have the same, but then with Alt, if we hold Alt and we do up and down, um, I'm now doing that, then we're basically um, navigating through the order list, as you can see here. So if I do Alt uh, left, right, I can basically change the, the value of that uh, order. Uh, position so this is very very uh, I think consistent very uh, easy to remember and another one is um, the control plus and minus uh, if you look here at you can set the, the step basically if you want to have a four to the floor kick you can set it to eight and then it will basically skip eight uh, but you can also change that with Ctrl minus and Ctrl plus. So this is a very, very nice way to quickly modify these things. Um, so that's that. I think, is there more? So current rotate panels. Yeah, that's it. That's it. So these are very, very nice. Then we have the Linux port uh, selection. Yeah, basically you can start, as you can see here, uh, your milky tracker with an environment variable uh, which uh, specifies the MIDI input device and um, this is very handy you, usually it, it takes uh, zero as the default but if you have let's say a MIDI keyboard on uh, port 1 then you can basically specify MIDI in is 1 and then run milky tracker without uh, the use of uh, complex patching environments where you have to do all kinds of complex stuff. No, it's just a simple environment flag and you're ready to go. So that's very, very cool. 
Um, and then we have the sample editor fade in, fade out loop for. Yeah, so this is also a very cool feature. Um, this allows you to fade out with one click. So it used to be way, uh, it was a bit annoying. You could only do this custom fade and you have to fiddle with these numbers and you have to set this to zero. And then you would have your fade out, which is very uh, cumbersome. So now you can just do fade out, boom. Okay, so what is loop fold? Loop fold allows you to um, fold the loop, fold things into a loop. So if I um, fade this sample out, just to make sure that we have no sound at the end, and I fade this in to make sure we have no sound at the beginning, then if I do loop fold, then in theory we would have a seamless loop now. If we do this again, redo filter, another fold, we would um, UX. Yeah, the UX is basically that there is no buttons anymore to press. It's just a very nice zero dialogue compressor. So if we launch the compressor, that's it. You don't have to enter numbers anymore. We can do redo. So th this gets very, very dirty. But as you can hear, there is like minimal clipping going on. Even though this is a pretty, pretty dirty sample already. But yeah, so this is the new uh, improved algorithm. It's idiot proof, anybody can use it, and you don't have to fiddle with attack, release, all these things. It's a perfectly scaling uh, algorithm. So it basically scales um, these kind of uh, guys. These oh yeah, there's also this, the stamp-like drag drop selections. So what is this? Let me show you what this is. This is actually pretty exciting because uh, I have to start, um, you know, get familiar with it as well while composing. But it's basically a sort of like a painter's palais. So if I have, uh, let's say, a chord here, or uh, maybe something else, uh, another instrument here, and maybe here one. Then what I can do with this mode, and make sure you go to config and misc, and then make sure it's turned on. Uh, then you can basically select it, hold shift, drag it, and then you have a stamp feature. You can basically paint whatever you selected. I'm not doing this. So this is a um, very interesting way of creating patterns, especially if you don't want to do uh, repetitive stuff, you can just select it and uh, paint it to another channel. This also works, uh, for example, if you have some kind of fade in on a certain uh, instrument you can, if I'm correct, yeah, you can just drag it while holding shift. So this is a very powerful feature. I still have to get used to it, but I can see a lot of use cases for this. So uh, this is all very exciting. The next release uh, will fine tune some things uh, as well and add some new features. Very exciting. Can't tell you too much about it yet, but I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, check out my next uh, video as well and my previous videos and uh, have a great day. Cheers!